Hi, in this particular video we would be looking for a very familiar concept in physics which is called escape velocity. Now with this term escape velocity the name itself indicates that something wants to escape. Something wants to escape. So we can term, we can tell it in not a very rigorous mathematical definition, however we can tell it that the, min, the, the minimum velocity given to an object so that it can escape from the surface of the earth or from the earth's gravitational field is called as an escape velocity. So the minimum velocity given to any object uh, so that it can escape from the earth's gravitational field is called an escape velocity. So I will just draw quickly over here a sim very simple diagram. Uh, this is considering that this is our earth, our mother earth and we call this as M or okay. I, I consider this as M and uh, we consider the radius that is the distance right from the center of the earth so we can consider this r radius as capital R we call it as capital R and here is a mass of M I, I, I may make it a small M uh, this is M which wants to escape from this gravitational field of this earth and it wants to move towards infinity it wants to move towards infinity. So we get the my mass that is m that is the mass of the earth and r which is the radius and this object sitting here wants to escape uh, uh, um, um, uh, from the gravitational pull of the earth at infinity. Now uh, a, f a, f a, f a simple thing which we call that at infinity at infinity both the potential energy uh, we call it as Pe as well as the kinetic energy that is the Ke that is the kinetic energy is always equal to zero. So a uh, body uh, traveling from the earth uh, going to infinity both the potential and kinetic energy is zero. We can also write it as thin way, this way Pe and Ke that is the potential and kinetic energy is always equal to zero moving at infinity. Now for example we take a small uh, case that uh, by the law of conservation of energy we know that the potential energy the potential energy at the initial stage we call it as I plus the kinetic energy at the initial stage that is I will always and always be equal to the potential energy at the final stage that is F plus the kinetic energy at the final stage that is KEF so this is the law of conservation of energy that energy can neither be created nor destroyed. So potential energy at the initial stage plus the kinetic energy at the initial stage will always be equal to the potential energy at the final stage and the potential and the kinetic energy at the final stage. Now say for example we consider the potential energy uh, I uh, uh, initially at the initial stage we write it as minus capital G capital M times M whole divided by capital R. This is the R, that is the radius. Now if you call me, if you ask me that why this minus G, why uh, gravitational potential energy is negative, I would request you to look into my other video where I have explained the reason of minus G. For the timing what you can just understand that potential energy is negative because because if this is the earth and we are moving upwards it is pulling downwards. So any work done upwards it is pulling downwards that is uh, that is why it is minus. But don't take it uh, as a very strong notation. This is just a, an initial thing just to know you can watch out my another video where I explained in details for this negative sign. Plus the kinetic energy so we take the kinetic energy is formula of half mv squared but I take the uh, energy uh, kinetic energy this E that's, uh, uh, that is the kinetic energy E squared equals to final potential energy is zero and the kinetic energy is zero because at infinity the potential and kinetic energy is zero we have told that. Now what we get from here if we can calculate over here what we get is that uh, this M and M gets uh, cleared up so this one gets cancelled up and by writing it again what we get over here is that half uh, this is M gets cancelled uh, cancelled over so uh, we can write it at uh, uh, this M and it get, uh, gets cancelled over so we can just write it as the uh, escape velocity that is VE if I consider is root over we need to, we need to uh, solve out the formula which you can do it on later phase. So 2 capital G capital M whole divided by R. Right? So uh, what we have seen over here is that 
we have uh, just uh, d uh, you know uh, we have cancelled out the m and by solving this we get capital 2 g m divided by divided by r and this is the escape velocity of earth which is more or less i can call equals to 11 kilometer per second that is 11 kilometer per second so that means that this particular body m if wants to escape from the surface of the earth it needs to move and it needs to have an escape velocity of 11 kilometer per second now just let me quickly look over uh, quickly tell you what are the values uh, what are uh, in this particular equation so let us just quickly look over the values of this equation so g which is the universal gravitational constant we can uh, uh, we can just write it as 6.673 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 11 newton meter square per kilogram square that is the universal gravitation constant the universal gravitation constant v and we call this m that that is the mass of the earth this m that is the mass of the earth is 5.92721 uh, multiplied by 10 to the power 24 kilograms so this is the mass of the earth now let us take this one that is the radius we can just uh, mention the radius as 6371 kilometers so the radius is 6371 kilometers so plugging this value gives you this plugging this value gives you this now once we have got the escape velocity of earth there is one few things that we need to mention which is worth mentioning i would call that points to be noted now see escape velocity depends does not depends upon the mass of the object now in here previously we have seen this is the mass of the object now here you see that the both both the masses are cancelling out right so what remains is the capital g the mass that is the mass of the uh, planet earth and the radius which is the r distance from the center so point number one which we need to uh, we, we we can write it as note note point number one which we need to remember is that escape velocity if i write it in this way ve ve is does not depend does not depend does not depend on m on small m right this is small m that is the mass of the object so it is independent of the mass of the object the second most important point is that escape velocity or ve is dependent it depends on what is dependent on mass that is the mass of the planet and the the third point is that escape velocity is dependent on r that is a radius so three quick important points to uh, remember escape velocity doesn't depend upon the mass of the object which is trying to move off that is why both the m's gets cancelled out in this equation escape velocity is dependent on m that is the mass of the planet uh, from where it is moving and the radius that is r now say for example we are doing an escape velocity of jupiter so for example this is jupiter okay this is jupiter so we write it as jupiter and the same way we want to uh, this is r and there is a body which wants to escape from jupiter so let us see what is the mass of jupiter that is capital m so the mass of jupiter is 1.898 multiplied by 10 to the power 27 kilograms this is the mass of jupiter what is the radius of jupiter oh it's huge 69911 kilometers and see the uh, radius of earth 6371 so this is 69911 kilometers and obviously g stands the same so just for your uh, convenience i write is 6.673 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 11 newton meters per kg squared now what we can do is that if we plug in these values if we plug in these values in the previous equation which we did uh, that is this escape velocity uh, equation here what we ge get is there this one if i write vj that is the escape velocity of jupiter and we put it in the same way 2 capital g m whole divided by r whole divided by r and we just plug in these values what we are going to get is this one 59.5 kilometers per second so this is the escape velocity of Jupiter, 
this is the escape velocity of earth and you see that the it, it doesn't depends upon the mass m what it depends is the radius of the planet from which it wants to escape and the mass of the planet which uh, it is uh, it is on so uh, considering these two things what we uh, what we got uh, from this particular video is that how to how to calculate the escape velocity and by plugging in those values we get an escape velocity of earth and if we know the m and g and r of any other planet then possibly and e easily we can get the escape velocity so it doesn't depend again i would repeat it doesn't depend on the mass m it depends upon the mass of the earth and radius in the next video if you're a little bit curious about how to calculate the mass of a planet or the mass of earth or anything you can watch out my next video thank you very much for watching